All right, Chris Casso, what do you got? Uh, let's see. So I read uh, Centipede, the comic from Dynamite Entertainment. It is an ad- uh, adaptation of the Centipede from the Atari game. No way. And they got Max Bemis to write it, and it is drawn by Eon Maron. E-O-I-N. Eon? Eon? Ian. Ian. Um, and... Uh, the thing is, Dynamite's been doing a lot of Atari adaptations, and I don't care. But uh, this got a lot of uh, attention online. I hmm. was reading an article from io9, and the, uh, there's a blurb on the cover. The kind of comic that will take you by surprise multiple times for a multiple number of reasons. And I was like, well, it's out. I should probably, you know, just check it out. And I do like Max Bemis a lot. He yeah. did uh, Oh, Kill Strike, which is one of my favorite parody comics. Um, and uh, so this follows a guy on a alien planet that's a lot like ours, but it's just not. But it's a lot. And uh, apparently the centipede made its way over there, and it's eaten pretty much everything and everyone except for him. And uh, it's still on the planet, and so he goes on a suicide run to just kill it or die or kill it and die and uh so you get like a bunch of flashbacks of what the life was like before that but in one of the best twists and uh i absolutely love this um the centipede is not a smart monster (laughs) uh there's there's this page where the guy's kind of summing it up he's talking to an imaginary friend it's like the only thing keeping him sane and he's like that's the thing about the centipede he's scary he's determined and plenty hungry and the monster's barreling down on him in the background and then he just moves and it like bangs its head against a telephone pole and it's like (laughs) on its back screaming and he's like the damn thing happens to be uncommonly dumb for a monster (laughs) and it shows like on the first day it arrived it was chasing its butt in the sky for a while and every but he's like, we could probably kill this. But the thing is, it's just, it can't die. And it can't, nothing can end it. So it's still got the planet. Uh, it's it's a great approach. So it's basically this idiot finding, fighting an idiot for the entire series. Um, there's uh, so the little spiders in the game are part of this. And it uh, they're kind of parasites that live on it. And it can send them out. And uh, there's a whole sequence where he eats some of the mushrooms that are left behind. And he really relives the life of the centipede and that's really messed up um so it's it's a big chunk of comedy but it's also very dark and uh the main character has a lot of problems and um you get flashbacks of his relationship with his abusive father and uh his uh him coming out to his best friend and telling them that he loves him um and uh his relationship with his mother so there's a lot of great character material in here um and it's well done because max bemis is good um so hey centipede the comic why not it is uh 1999 I'm pulling it out of chris's hands it's 19 19- 99 it's like a six issue trade um if you just want to see a property that should never have accurately been uh turned into a comic but somehow well done do it that's great yeah. how many other atari properties have been turned into comics uh so there's sword quest which we Good, keep because i cannot remember the actual name we keep calling it sourdough, sourdough quest <laughs> uh Something about my eyes blurred when I was ordering it, and I'm like, sourdough quit. Oh, this is less interesting now. Yes. Um, is there an ad in the back there, Cole? You, you've got the thing. Uh, Sword Quest, that's the one. Yes. And there there's some art books, and I swear there was another one or two, and I just didn't care. Right. But, uh, yeah, so they, they've got the licenses from Atari, and they're doing what they can. That's, that's great, actually. I would not expect centipede to be <laughs> oh yeah something that they would draw from i'm pretty sure that they're like well we got this what do we do with it <laughs> and then they're like max bemis do a thing and he's like yeah. okay can i do anything <laughs> they're like it just do six issues because we ain't doing an ongoing <laughs> so. all right cool centipede from dynamite thank you chris